Welcome to the shop. I want to talk about trimming, kind of a trimming 101. I've had cases where I've been uh, at the field flying and somebody makes a comment that their plane, when they take their hands off the stick, it always wants to veer. Or they've asked me to fly it because the plane's not flying well and I notice it is not trimmed at all. So we go through that process. So for you, if you have a plane and when you let your hands off the stick, it's wanting to kill itself, a lot of times it's gonna be a trimming problem. Super easy to fix. You got all the tools right here in front of you. So we're gonna go through that in this video. I'm gonna show you basically, you know, what you need to do to get that plane flying perfectly straight and level at cruise speed. And we're gonna go through a demo of that, brought a plane to the field, had it so it's out of trim, and I go through the process and show what I'm doing on my sticks, because a lot of people have also said they'd love to see more of my, what I'm doing on my radio. Then we're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit about additional things are going to affect trim. What I mean is, you might trim your plane today, and three weeks from now you're going to go fly it again, and it, it's slightly nosing down or nosing up. And there's a lot of variables on why that might be, and we'll talk about those things to give you some hints. But the bottom line is, your, tr your plane is always going to need a little trimming th through its lifespan, however long that is. Anyway, stick around. Let me go through the process, and then from there we'll go into a demo. All right, the process of trimming a plane is actually pretty simple. If the plane, so here's your sticks, and you'll notice down here you've got these two little bars here. Bars going horizontal, bars going vertical. There's a little dash in there, as you can see. These little switches here affect the trim. So if your plane is veering down, as soon as you take off, if you let off the sticks and that plane wants to go down, you have to pull back a little bit to get it to fly level. As soon as you let go, it noses down again. So as you're flying that plane and pulling back on that stick, you're gonna come over here and give a couple clicks of up elevator. So I'm pushing down, which is the same direction as the stick, okay, to, as far as for level flight. And then let go. If it still noses down, level off your plane, fly your plane, and give a couple more clicks. Simple as that. You get to the point, and I always do my elevator first, unless something is completely out of whack. But typically, I'm going to tune my elevator first, get it so it's now flying nice and level, but let's say it's veering to the left. Well, so I have to give right aileron in order to control that. So I'm going to give right trim and let go. What is it flying like? And a lot of times when I'm doing this, I'm at, I want the plane to fly almost at me so I can really see and fine tune it. You're gonna go through this process a little bit to that point where at cruise speed, you can let go of the stick and the plane will pretty much fly totally off, you know, hands off. Getting into gyros and such have some effect on that. AS3X, you can tune a plane on AS3X, no problem. Safe, there's some other issues with that. I always initially tune my plane with no gyros whatsoever. Anyway, if you need help with that, obviously ask somebody to help you out. But anyway, that's the process involved with just simple trimming. Rudder is a little bit harder to see. Your plane will almost kind of crab. One thing you can do though, is fly your plane away from you. So get it in an orientation so it's flying directly away from you. And look at that, is it crabbing? Is it, you know, basically need a little left or right rudder. If you give a little rudder, does it straighten out and look a little bit better? Give trim in the direction where you have to correct. So that's it. All right, let's go to the field and I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm doing. So I've got a plane, gonna get it up in the air, trim it, I'm gonna talk through that whole process and you'll see what I'm doing on the sticks. And uh, it's not a hard process. It, the real thing that you need to understand though is as you're flying this plane, you need to be able to move over and move these tabs right here to straighten the plane out while you're flying, hands off. You don't want to be looking down at this. If you need help, get a helper, but explain to them the direction they need to go. I don't know how many times 
I've asked somebody to help me and I said, hey, I need some up trim and they're pushing this tab up. Well, that's not giving me up, that's giving me down. And I go let off the sticks and it's even worse. That's when you know they're doing it the wrong way and you can correct them and have them help you out while you're flying. Anyway, just a little note there. First thing I'm gonna do is get the plane up, bring it around and let go of the sticks. And I can tell it's kind of going down. So I pull it out so it doesn't crash and I'm gonna reach over and give a little up elevator with my thumb here. I'm not looking at my transmitter. That's not bad, I like that. But now it's turning a little bit to the right. So I control, always control on my plane, making my turn. I got my finger on the aileron trim. Yeah, it's going to the right. So I'm gonna give a couple left clicks and get a feeling for that. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna speed up too. When you do this, you wanna be kind of at cruise speed. I think I went a little too far. All right, I'm feeling better about it. That's pretty good. All right, that's it. Plane's trimmed and we are good to go. Trimming is as simple as that. One thing I didn't mention, I think it's really important and it goes into, you know, even before you do your maiden, it's those control surface setup making sure those control surfaces are perfectly flush with the wing. You know, they're not tilted up an eighth of an inch. You know, go in, pop off that linkage, turn it so mechanically everything is perfect. Also, on your radio, if you copy a file, copy one plane to another, well, be careful there because you might have made some changes to the trim, whether trim, sub trims, whatever. We're not going to get into that. But on the trims, if you look, they should be right in the center. Those little dots that I mentioned, those dashes on the screen, that should be perfectly, you know, perfectly in the center on setup. So make sure the control surfaces look good. Make sure everything is centered in your radio. Then you're ready for trimming. Now, let's talk a little bit about why does my trim change? Well, one of the biggest reasons is center of gravity. If you put in a heavier battery than you normally fly, then that's going to change the center of gravity and that's gonna affect your trim. So just a note, you know, when I made the video on do, you know, changing and measuring center of gravity, there was a lot of trimming going on. Each time I moved my CG back or forward, I was also required to mess with the trim. If you're flying and you notice that throughout the flight, it seems like something's not right and it's always out of trim, probably got a bad servo or something's going on with your linkage, probably a good thing to check out. Maybe that's kind of a, a early warning system. I don't know. Weather. If you're going from cold to hot throughout the season, control surfaces could warp, they could change oh. a little bit, and that's gonna affect it. And again, you get into a crash, you bend a control surface, getting a plane out of a vehicle, all of a sudden now you've got some trimming stuff to do. So all common, and we all deal with it. It's just the way it is. It's a, you know, a big wing, a big 80 inch wing, you know, covered in monocoat, heated up over throughout the day. I guarantee you it's gonna be a little different by the end of the day. So anyway, hey look, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you like it, hit that like button. If you have a, a question, leave a comment below. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.